first slash only post, I mainly lurk. I thought stuff like this only happened in movies, but it happened, and would like some unbiased opinions. More lighthearted than some of the other posts on here. I have a cousin cat, who got married to Henry early this year. We weren't close as kids. She was pretty spoiled, and would always brag about how much designer stuff she has, be really mean to people under the guise of just trying to help, etc. Don't go out of our way to interact with one another, but I do see her at family events and whatnot, and we make small talk. I'm engaged to Chris, who is a software engineer. He's co-head of his department at work with two other people. Not too long ago, Chris was telling me about how they had some new employees, and one of them sounded really familiar. He told me the name and I realized it was Kat's husband. Also he and Henry hadn't met face to face yet. Kat and Henry had a huge wedding. It was really nice but all she did for months is brag about how amazing her wedding was. The wedding stuff's died down now so recently she started going on about how wealthy her husband is and what a great lifestyle they have. One of my other aunts celebrated her 50th about a week ago, I went with Chris and Kat was there with Henry. We were chatting and Kat was saying how Henry has a fantastic new job that pays even more than his previous one. Henry chimed in and said that they were already planning to buy a new house. Kat asked what Chris does. I said he was an engineer like Henry, and he has a good job too, but I'll admit I left out where he works on purpose. She smiled and nodded, then said it's fine, she understands that I'm embarrassed and want to keep it quiet. So that was pretty much the end of our conversation then. When we were leaving, she pulled me aside and told me to let her and Henry know if we needed help with the wedding. Obviously I knew what she meant, and it was just another dig, but I said bye and left. Literally two days later, I get a DM from Kat and she's furious, well, as much as one can. Be through text that I didn't tell them that Chris was one of Henry's bosses. Henry was shocked to see him in the office and Chris made a comment tell Kat op and me don't need help, but thanks for offering. Henry's really embarrassed and so's Kat, and she said that we made them look bad on purpose, and if she knew, she'd have never made those comments. It was my duty to tell her and Henry. Chris and I had a really good laugh over this, but she sent a text out to the family group chat we have saying how she was blindsided by me. A few others said that what we did was petty and wrong. So, Ata? NTA. Cat is embarrassed and also annoyed she can't brag and one up you, so she's telling you off as a way to clamber back power over you. Stand your ground and don't apologize. You can say I understand you're embarrassed, but I didn't do anything wrong. If you didn't talk down to people this would never be an issue. Ignore all the winging and people she enlists to complain on her behalf. They are all wrong. Yep. And the knife twist is that now she is below op in her own internal ranking system. She's married to the underling of op's husband. Comparison is the thief of joy. The sooner cousin learns this the better. NTA. NTA. Henry's really embarrassed and so's Kat, and she said that we made them look bad on purpose, and if she knew, she'd have never made those comments. She could have just not made the comments at all, and been a decent person regardless of the work relationship. Maybe she should take that as a lesson about what she says. Henry should be embarrassed by Kat. NTA and I love the way you handled it. It was better than the way I would have handled it which would have been to publicly and loudly ask her husband how he liked working for my husband. But I have a habit of making things worse. It's not my best tray. NTA, your cousin shouldn't need help to prevent herself from being an ass. NTA, K and H did a perfectly good job of looking bad all by themselves without any help. And if she didn't embark on half-baked damage limitation, less people would know the truth. But I guess Op just has to explain herself to each of them. Op's cousin is deeply insecure. NTA. NTA. Man, you need to go full nice be here. Asterisk KAT. Honey, Chris is a private kind of guy. He doesn't like a big fuss. And besides, you were being asterisk asterisk so lovely in offering to help with the wedding. And you're so happy about being able to. I wasn't about to rain on your parade. You be proud of your man, babe. He's done so well. And you're so cute when you're bragging about him. Don't you dare be embarrassed because you wanted to do something nice for someone you love. Asterisk. 
now you know, and she knows that it was all about tearing you down. But if you pretend you thought she was all cupcakes and sugar, she's left without a leg to stand on. Perfect bless your heart energy. NTA moral of the story don't be a petty b asterisk txh to people. NTA, cat got caught chewing on her foot, and is mad at op, as if she shoved her foot in there. NTA if she feels the comment magically became inappropriate, because they were directed to her husband's boss then they were inappropriate to begin with. She needs to stand by her s asterisk asterisk asterisk, or stop doing it. She's blame shifting. This is a hard lesson for a lot of people. Once you say things, they're out there, and you can't just take them back into yourself like a sponge absorbing water. She's the one who tried to puff herself up by deflating you. You didn't have anything to do with making her look bad. That s asterisk 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 happened on its own. Whatever she feels at this point is on her. NTA. My favorite part is Cat telling Op that it is fine to be embarrassed by where Chris works and understands why she wants to keep it quiet. LMAO. NTA. You handled it privately instead of in public. You're a much better person than most of the people on here. Yes agreed. Op was very composed and mature in handling this. She mailed it. NTA. Dude she sucks. And it sounds like her husband sucks, just as much if he knew about the comments and didn't call her out. But also, tell your fiancé to be careful about this work dynamic, and make sure, when you get married he reports two hours, that they have this relationship, especially if he's directly within your fiancé's reporting structure. Check his employee handbook. Don't want that impacting your husband's job, and it would be your husband who got flack. If it wasn't reported, not your cousin's husband, if he's the subordinate the mayor you may not be done with that epic. I would even go two hours now. Hey, FYI, that new guy my team just hired is married to my fiancé's cousin. I didn't have any part in the hiring and didn't know until a family party last week. But since I'm his direct supervisor I wanted to let you know and ask how best to handle this. If you are unable to answer that last question, is there a consultant we could bring in to help us through this situation? The one time cat isn't ahead of everyone else, she proceeds to act like an absolute bee towards you. You were a lot more mature in this situation. NTA. NTA. You didn't do anything. She did it to herself. I'd reply to the relatives taking her side. Oh, cat has nothing to be ashamed of. Henry has a perfectly respectable job. NTA. Had you said something at the moment then she would have looked bad in front of everyone. You kept to yourself. However, I do think your fiancé shouldn't have said that in the office if you didn't bother saying it before. At the office he's his boss and he won't say anything back. At the party you were all equal. So either say something there or don't say something later at the office. It wouldn't have mattered. If Chris is Henry's boss then they would have met either way. Chris could have said nothing but, after meeting at work then the cousin would have figured out and made a stink about it either way. The end result would not have changed whether he simply said good morning or what was actually said. Asterisk asterisk nta asterisk asterisk. Your cousin made h-e-r-s-e-l-f asterisk look bad by presuming she was better than you. Chris comeback comment was awesome. NTA. I'm impressed with your willpower in holding back from saying, back quote what does he do? Well he's your husband's boss lol. A dish best served cold. NTA. So low key and classy. Excuse me as I roll around in a fragrant bed of delicious sweet karma. NTA in the slightest. I will handled it the same way. Maybe your cousin should learn not to be so obnoxious. NTA at all. NTA, sounds like some pretty sweet karma to me. NTA you are under no obligation to tell her anything regarding your personal lives. If she wants to make assumptions that's on her. Real weird assumptions to make to she knows they're in the same industry and Chris has a good job too, but Op must automatically be back quote embarrassed. NTA, there's a unique kind of narcissism that I see a lot more these days. The type where someone is angry at someone else for not alerting them to the fact that the horrible thing they were about to do could come back and hurt them. Like it's everyone else's job to allow them to be shitty, but to stop them from accidentally being shitty to someone important. 
This happens also when I'm walking toward a doorway or something and someone else is heading for it to a if I happen to beat them, I've heard people act miffed. I'm like, I'm sorry I did exactly to you what you were 100% hoping to do to me. NTA a cousin sucks. I personally think it's awesome she had to eat what she has been shoveling. NTA. They embarrassed themselves by acting like that. You did nothing wrong. What obnoxious people. NTA you are under no obligation to tell anyone where your partner works or what type of job he has, or even income for that matter. Your cousin has some type of issue. NTA. NTA. Just reply with some laughing emojis. I dunno. I feel like this is exactly the same as the post earlier today. Bratty slash entitled cousin always talking about how pretty she is, ugly others are. Tells a prettier girl to her face that she's unattractive. Gets corrected that she, in fact, is less attractive. Family on Villain's side. When I first joined this sub, I read rumors of a creative writing group. After more than a year, is there really any other explanation? The writing is consistently too good, and often too well researched to reasonably be real for many posts. NTA. Should tell her maybe she should try bragging a lot less, and you guys aren't that close and to let this be a lesson about gossip and trying to feel superior. But if she's embarrassed, it's her own fault because she's the one who beached your privacy by telling everyone things that aren't even her business. To the family that side with her, ask them why it's any of their business what you and your man do for a living, and why do they care? It's not their business getting spread and it honestly doesn't affect them.